So I got a message yesterday from a fellow realtor whose neighbor had some tenants move out and left a snake behind. So once again, it's off to a snake rescue. Um, this is a little baby ball python that we just got home and I don't know anything about him yet. He looks fairly healthy, um, but I'm gonna keep him here for a little bit just to make sure he's eating and he's healthy and then we're gonna try to rehome him. But um, I'm gonna go in and see if I can figure out how friendly he is. So keep our fingers crossed. <clears throat> so here's our little tiny guy. And this is a ball python, which I've had many of. One was, um, her name was Fluffy, and she was about four feet long, and she was very fat. She was very big around because she was female, and she ended up laying a lot of eggs. But um, let's go in and see what we got here with this guy. I don't have my snake hook yet, so we'll see how he reacts. They said he hadn't eaten in about a week, which is normal. I only fed mine once a week. Um, it does take them a while to digest their food, so they don't eat a lot. He seems pretty friendly. I don't want to poke him too much. Come here, buddy. <clears throat> so you can see he's, he's fairly relaxed. When they get the um, coiled up and they get this S shape in their neck, that's when they're getting ready to strike. But so far he's, he's taking it pretty good. like most snakes he's just trying to get away from whatever is poking him a lot of people have fear for snakes um, which what I told the realtor is because it's passed down from parents to their kids without having any real reason to be scared of snakes <clears throat> but these guys are known to be fairly friendly let's see if I can go in with a hand And even if he does bite, it's not going to hurt. It'll scare you more than anything, but it's not going to hurt. So he's taking all this pretty well, so that's a good sign. Snakes actually make really good pets. They're, they don't, you know, make a mess. They don't get hair all over the place. Um, you only feed them once a week. Make sure they have clean water. Um, and if handled often, then they can make really great friends for kids especially obviously you don't want to get something huge for kids but it makes a great first time pet for somebody let's see if I can pick him up I've been bit by these, by one much, much bigger. They just have a rows of very sharp teeth that are so sharp, like a hypodermic needle. You don't even really feel them going in. It's the, the scare of the strike that is the worst part of it. But they latch on, and once they realize that it's not food, they let go. But he looks like he's super friendly. Come here, bud. So I'm going to make things a lot easier when we go to try to rehome him. Hi. Hmm. 
I get very good focus here. Be able to focus very well on them, but anyway, I'll put him down. So, good news, he's friendly. So, if anybody is interested in maybe having a pet snake, these don't grow large about four feet for females. The males will stay maybe three, three and a half feet and fairly skinny, like this, maybe a little bit bigger around, but not huge. Um, they can get to the size where they'll eat, you know, mice or small rats, and you can feed them live or frozen. I always prefer frozen, but, um, yeah, so if you would like any more information or maybe interested in homing this guy, let me know. I'm going to keep him for a couple of weeks just to make sure he's healthy and okay, and um, then we'll be looking for a new home for him. So, if you need a name for him, what do you think?